paramita Sanskrit, Pali or parami Pali is perfection or completeness. While, technically, parami and paramita are both Pali terms, Pali literature makes far greater reference to parami. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Donald S. Lopez Jr. describes the etymology of the term. The term parameter, commonly translated as perfection, has two etymologies. The first derives it from the word parama, meaning highest, most distant, and hence chief, primary, most excellent. Hence, the substantive can be rendered excellence or perfection. This reading is supported by the Majin Tavabhaga v.4, where the twelve excellences parama are associated with the ten perfections parameter. A more creative yet widely reported etymology divides parameter into para and meter, with para meaning beyond, the further bank, shore or boundary, and meter, meaning that which has arrived, or eta meaning that which goes. Parameter, then means that which has gone beyond that which goes beyond or transcendent this reading is reflected in the tibetan translation pha roll to fine pa gone to the other side topic <laughs> theravada buddhism theravada teachings on the paramis can be found in late canonical books and post canonical commentaries Topic. Canonical sources In the Pali Canon, the Buddhavamsa lists the ten perfections as Dana Parami, generosity, giving of oneself Sila Parami, virtue, morality, proper conduct Nekama Parami, renunciation Panna Parami, transcendental wisdom, insight Viriya Parami, energy, diligence, vigor, effort Kanti parami, patience, tolerance, forbearance, acceptance, endurance Saka parami, truthfulness, honesty Adhitana parami, determination, resolution Metta parami, goodwill, friendliness, loving-kindness Upeka parami, equanimity, serenity to of the above virtues, metta and upeka, also a Brahmaviharas. Historicity The Theravadan teachings on the Paramas can be found in canonical books Jataka Tales, Apadana, Buddhavamsa, Karyapitaka, and post-canonical commentaries written to supplement the Pali Canon at a later time, and thus might not be an original part of the Theravadan teachings. The oldest parts of the Sutta Pitaka, for example, Majjhima Nikaya, Daya Nikaya, Samyutta Nikaya, and the Anguttara Nikaya, do not have any mention of the Paramas as a category, though they are all mentioned individually. Some scholars even refer to the teachings of the Paramas as a semi Mahayana teaching added to the scriptures at a later time in order to appeal to the interests and needs of the lay community and to popularize their religion. However, these views rely on the early scholarly presumption of Mahayana originating with religious devotion and appeal to laity. More recently, scholars have started to open up early Mahayana literature, which is very ascetic and expounds the ideal of the monk's life in the forest. Therefore, the practice of the parameters in Buddhism is close to the ideals of the ascetic tradition of the sramana. Traditional practice. Body 2005 maintains that in the earliest Buddhist texts, which he identifies as the first four Nikayas, those seeking the extinction of suffering, Nibbana, pursued the Noble Eightfold Path. As time went on, a backstory was provided for the multi-life development of the Buddha. As a result, the ten perfections were identified as part of the path for the Bodhisattva, Pali Bodhisattva. Over subsequent centuries, the Paramas were seen as being significant for aspirants to both Buddhahood and Arahantship. Thus, Body 2005 summarizes, It should be noted that in established Theravada tradition the paramis are not regarded as a discipline peculiar to candidates for Buddhahood alone but as practices which must be fulfilled by all aspirants to enlightenment and deliverance, whether as Buddhas, Pakskarbuddhas, or disciples. 
What distinguishes the Supreme Bodhisattva from aspirants in the other two vehicles is the degree to which the paramis must be cultivated and the length of time they must be pursued. But the qualities themselves are universal requisites for deliverance, which all must fulfill to at least a minimal degree to merit the fruits of the liberating path. Mahayana Buddhism In Mahayana Buddhism, the Prajnaparamita Sutras, the Lotus Sutra and a large number of other texts list the six perfections Dana Paramita, generosity, giving of oneself in Chinese, Korean, and Japanese, Bushi Bo Luo Mi in Tibetan, Sabayan Pa Sila Paramita, virtue, morality, discipline, proper conduct, Chiji Bo Luo Mi, Tishul Krims Kasanti Paramita, patience, tolerance, forbearance, acceptance, endurance, Renru Bo Luo Mi, BZOD Pa Virya Paramita, energy, diligence, vigor, effort, Jing Jin Bo Luo Mi, Bertsen Dhyana Paramita, one-pointed concentration, contemplation, chanting Bo Luo Mi, BSAM GTAN Prajna Paramita, Wisdom, Insight, Ban Ruo Bo Luo Mi, Shes Rab Note that this list is also mentioned by the Theravada commentator Dhammapala, who says it is equivalent to the above list of ten. In the Ten Stages Sutra, four more paramitas are listed. 7. Upaya Paramita, Skillful Means Fang Bian Bo Luo Mi 8. Pranidhana Paramita, Vow, Resolution, Aspiration, Determination Yuan Bo Luo Mi 9. Bala Paramita, Spiritual Power Li Bo Luo Mi 10. Junana Paramita, Knowledge Ji Bo Luo Mi Tibetan Buddhism According to the perspective of Tibetan Buddhism, Mahayana practitioners have the choice of two practice paths, the path of perfection Sanskrit, paramitiana, or the path of tantra Sanskrit, tantriana, which is the vajrayana. Traleg Kyabgon Ranpoche renders, paramita into English as, transcendent action, and then frames and qualifies it. When we say that paramita means, transcendent action, we mean it in the sense that actions or attitude are performed in a non-egocentric manner. Transcendental does not refer to some external reality, but rather to the way in which we conduct our lives and perceive the world, either in an egocentric or a non-egocentric way. The six parameters are concerned with the effort to step out of the egocentric mentality. The pure illusory body is said to be endowed with the six perfections Sanskrit, sat paramita, the first four perfections are skillful means practice while the last two are wisdom practice. These contain all the methods and skills required for eliminating delusion and fulfilling others' needs. Also, leading from happy to happier states. See also Pankaparamasthi, five perfections in Jainism.